such hubris to think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh, it's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole, and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Core. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. Our scouts are reporting the Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. Rohana! I can see it, Artanis. The truth Amon wishes to hide. While his brethren, the Zelnaga, slumbered through the millennia, Amon and his followers descended upon Ire. And he uplifted our people. They ruled over us as teachers. As gods. He changed us, manipulated our essence, but we grew beyond his control. He and his followers fled to Zaris to create the Zerg. The hybrid, by the culmination of his efforts, false Zelnaga, created in his image. They... we must... Rohana, this is too dangerous. You cannot go on like this. I must, Hierarch. It is my duty to know the truth, to bear it. I know now, this is my purpose. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Kerax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design, a battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. Hierarch, the Purifiers are impressed with your leadership. They clamor to strike at the heart of Iman. Friend Phoenix, they are impressed equally with yours. Yes, they have chosen to follow my command. Leadership is new for me, as is everything else. I had not intended to become Hierarch. I questioned the decision. There had to be someone more worthy. Do not fall into the same mental traps I did, my friend. The Purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Daylom now follow me. Self-doubt will only cloud your decision-making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader. Revenscar has fallen, and through its death, the Templar have been born anew. But the matter of the Tal'Darim still concerns me. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, 
and in return, I will remove the Talgarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. The Golden Armada has devastated the Scepter, Artanis. I know we cannot engage them directly, but this must not continue. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal. Their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time, we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so. But he has yet to face me. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done... Wait, what is that strange fog? It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. The Guardians stand watch over the shrines. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. Have you come to bear witness to the end? This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. Your power is greater than we believed, Firstborn. Amon's forces are gone. Now's your chance to attack the Guardians. 
Ah, another guardian has fallen. What a thrilling sight. If it is so thrilling, why not join us? Well, I must save my strength to face Malash, of course. Behold the strength of the Chosen! Taldarim ships are heading towards our Nexus, Hyrock. Bring them down! Combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh, yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Taldarim have no color for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. This chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's Shadow Walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon... Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy. Servant to master. A constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. Suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as cruel. It is the same with the Tal'Darim, with the destruction of Amon and the revelation of his betrayal. I expect their entire society to seek out who they truly are and what they wish to be. Kerax, the Keystone, it's reacting. To void energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terrazine must be directly linked to the Void. The Tal'Darim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. 
The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terezin, and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terezin like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us completely. We must have faith. I prefer results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this rite? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death, and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth. Given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Leave me. It is time to make preparation. the hour of my ascendance, that Rakshir commence! The rite of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the pit of sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgarim and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alarak. But likewise, the Taldarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. Yes, your psionic power courses through me. Move forward, slaves. Kill all who aid Malash! You would do well to remember that I command these warriors, Alarak. Not you. Our confrontation draws to a close, Malash. Soon, everyone will know the depth of your treachery. Hyrule, I am sensing hybrid. They come to aid Malash. Amon's harbingers, join our struggle! Fight well, warriors, and you will also ascend into hybrid! Oh, you lie with such a conviction. It is almost admirable. Our master has already won, Alarak. You lead our people to their doom. You are right about one thing, Malash. I will lead them. Alderim, by the right of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. Alderim have yielded to my authority in the death 
League is now under my command. I will use them both to avenge Amon's betrayal. Do your people believe in this cause, as you do? What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. destroyed your Terran army, eradicated your hybrid facility, and turned your servants to my side. All that is left is your destruction. Impudence, back. You are insignificant in the face of the salvation I bring. You will come to Iron and die. He is gone. He is so arrogant. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the Great Fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred Psi Matrix that powers Ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day on. Set a course for Ayr. Artanis, you should know my fear of the Taldorim is not of them now, but what becomes of them if Amon is defeated. You fear they will never integrate with our society? They share our blood, but they are not like us. You know in your heart that may never change. It is true. A great battle may loom on the horizon ahead of us, but it's a risk we must take. It is a great risk. The dawn of a unified Protoss requires much. Like the threads of a cloth, we must come together and be stronger because of it. To think what we become with their culture influencing us. Changing us. Yes. We will be changed, and perhaps that is what you fear more than battle. The path ahead is uncharted, Matriarch. Rohana, 
Before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes, I saw Amon's end. As the Firstborn created the Kala, the Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the Void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon unleashed the Swarm. And the Swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the Void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. The Hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ayr. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Rohana. And he can be defeated again. Artanis. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us, or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. So many lost. So much destruction. But there is a glimmer of hope. We will destroy Amon's host body and cast him from the Kala. The Templar shall make our final stand for Ire. Brothers, sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ayr, by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the void. His optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit, and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. Artanis, welcome. Ire, some of my people are seeing it for the first time. They were born on Shakuris and have only heard tales of our homeland. They will see much more of it, now that the power of the Keystone is within our grasp. Zeratul spoke truly. It has ushered us unto hope. Yes, though not as we initially suspected. Still, his tireless devotion brought us this chance. I will forever honor him for that. As shall I. The psionic matrix was first sparked 3,000 years ago. 
It is strange. Such a joyous event, and I only know of it from what has been recorded in history. I do not feel the memory. I cannot tell you of the joy that Protoss felt as the first pulse charged the Psymatrix, or the rush of thoughts that cascaded through the Kala and the minds of the proud Kalai. And yet, we know all that we need to about these times, Rohana. Yes. You must understand, though. To have so little of experience to recall it, my account is capable of flaws, of imperfection. Perhaps this is how our histories should be viewed after all, without certainty, only seen through the era one lives in. The Keystone is reacting to void energies on the surface of Ayer. But this scale... it can only be... Amon. How long until the Keystone is ready? I do not know. It has only been used like this once before. The Keystone shows clear evidence of tampering, likely by this Nerud creature mentioned in the Terran Engineer Swan's report. It was adapted to drain the void energies within Kerrigan and store them until they could be redistributed to revive Amon. The Foundation is there, but it was never intended to house the full energies of Azalnaga. You will find a way, Karax. If there is one thing I have learned, you will not rest until you have found your result. I have faith in that. Thank you, Hierarch. But this will prove difficult. The Keystone was intended to be a vessel, not a prison. I have such tangible memories of Ayer. I can still feel the warm breezes of Aldera, its hot sunlight filling my every pore. The Praetor Council took me to Aldera as a youngling too. It is there where I ignited my first Psyblade. Phoenix as well. It was the proudest moment of his life. He felt such purpose, such surety of his existence. I look forward to seeing this place he so loved for the first time. Those memories you hold, they are of another place. That world is no more. Then we shall build a better one on top of it. Higher R. Your people are lost, Arcanus. I know you desire to save them, but it will not be gone. Our focus should be on Amon's destruction alone. By destroying Amon's body, then liberating my people from the Kala, he will be thrust back into the Void. It is a victory we can achieve. It is a folly, and a risk we do not need to incur. We should eradicate the Protoss, burn the entire world, and all on it. No, Alarak. If we may save my people, it will be done. Do not defy me on this. Of course I only counsel wisdom. If you do not wish to hear it, I will say no more. <laughs>